Welcome to the tutorial on auditing. This is the fourth tutorial on fraud risk factor. In the first tutorial, we have learned about the summary of the fraud risk factor, and in the second tutorial, we have learned about the fraud risk factors arising from the misstatement in the financial statements and in the third tutorial we have learned about the fraud risk factors arising from the misappropriation of assets and in this tutorial we are going to learn about the examples of circumstances that indicate the possibility of fraud and we will discuss this topic under the guidance of international auditing and assurance standard board according to the international auditing and assurance standard board the examples of circumstances that indicate the possibility of fraud can be categorized into four parts we can see whenever there is a discrepancies in accounting records whenever there is a conflicting or missing evidence whenever there is a problematic or unusual relationships between the auditor and the management and there are some other factors which act as examples of circumstances that indicate the possibility of fraud in the first stage we will discuss the examples of circumstances that indicate the possibility of fraud due to the discrepancies in accounting records we can see what are the discrepancies of accounting records which indicates the fraud risk factor the first one is the transactions that are not recorded in a complete or timely manner or are improperly recorded as to amount or accounting period or classification or entity policy i mean whenever there is no record or any timely record or any incomplete record that type of symptoms or circumstances indicate the possibility of fraud and the second discrepancies in the accounting records is unsupported or unauthorized balances or transactions if there is any unsupported or unauthorized balance or unauthorized transactions in the recording process that indicates the possibility of fraud and the third discrepancies in the accounting record is last minute adjustments that significantly affect financial results i mean whenever there is any situation where the employees adopt any last minute adjustments that significantly affect the financial results that type of last minute adjustments i mean at the end of accounting period if there is any adjustment in the financial records which will have a large effect in the financial performance that type of adjustment can be considered as a symptom or circumstances that indicate the possibility of fraud and the next one is evidence of employees access to systems and records inconsistent with that necessary to perform their authorized duties i mean when there is any inconsistencies with the duties and record that type of circumstances indicate the possibility of fraud whenever there are tips or complaints to the auditor about alleged fraud i mean when the auditor receives complaints regarding any alleged fraud that type of circumstances will provide the indication of fraud risk factor now we are going to learn about the circumstances that indicate the possibility of fraud in the perspective of conflicting or missing evidence you can see the examples of conflicting or missing evidence are whenever as an auditor 
you don't find any important documents that means whenever there is a incidence of missing documents whenever the documents that appear to have been altered i mean you have taken a document but the amounts in that document are altered by any employees that type of alteration can be considered as a missing evidence for the true fact and the next one is unavailability of other than photocopied or electronically transmitted documents when documents in original form are expected to exist i mean as an auditor you may think that there may be some original documents as an evidence for any transactions but if the authority does not provide the original document rather if they provide the photocopy document or any electronic item then it indicates the possibility of fraud risk after that we can see the significant unexplained items on reconciliations in the reconciliation statements if there is no clear explanation for any significant item that also indicate the possibility of fraud after that we can see unusual balance sheet changes or changes in trends or important financial statement ratios or relationships as for example receivables growing faster than the revenues that type of unusual or unexpected or sudden changes can indicate the possibility of fraud after that we can see inconsistent vague vague means unclear or implausible responses from management or employees arising from inquiries or analytical procedures that means as an auditor whenever you throw any investigative questions to the management or the responsible employees and if there is any inconsistent answer or vague or unclear answer or implausible i mean unreliable response also indicate the fraud risk and the last one is unusual discrepancies between the entity's records and confirmation replies i mean record is showing one amount but the replies from the concerned authority is another amount that type of situations or circumstances also indicate the fraud risk we can see there are other conflicting or missing evidence which can be taken as a factors of fraud risk we can see large number of credit entries and other adjustments made to account receivable records if there are large number of credit entries in the account receivable records and the next one is unexplained or inadequately explained differences between the accounts receivable sub ledger and the control account we know that account receivable is considered as a control account and the sub ledgers under the account receivable are also provides the supporting documents if there is a difference between the sub ledger and the control account of account receivable and if there is no clear explanation for that difference that situation or circumstances also indicate the possibility of fraud risk and the next one is missing or non existent cancelled checks in circumstances where cancelled checks are ordinarily returned to the entity with the bank statement i mean whenever there is any missing check or any non existent cancelled checks and the next one is missing inventory or physical assets of significant magnitude i mean if there is any asset with high value and if the asset is missing that missing assets also indicate the possibility of fraud risk after that we can see unavailable or missing electronic evidence inconsistent with the entity's record retention practices or policies that means whenever there is any missing electronic evidence or unavailable electronic evidence that type of circumstances also indicate the possibility of fraud whenever there is a fewer responses to the confirmations than anticipated or a greater number of responses than anticipated i mean as an auditor 
whenever you are doing your auditing in the company and if you ask question and against your question or query whenever there is any fewer response or more response than the expected amount that type of fewer response or great number of response indicate the possibility of fraud risk and the next one is inability to produce evidence of key systems development and program change testing and implementation activities for current year system changes and deployments whenever there is any change and if there is no clear evidence for showing the reasons of change then that type of symptoms or circumstances also indicate the fraud risk factor now we are going to see the problematic or unusual relationships between the auditor and management which also indicates the possibility of fraud in this slide we can see the examples of problematic or unusual relationships between the auditor and management denial to access to records facilities or certain employees or customers or vendors or other from home audit evidence might be so i mean as an auditor you may be asking for evidence and if the management does not provide you the access for that evidence that circumstances also indicate the possibility of fraud risk and the next one is undue time pressure imposed by the management to resolve complex or contentious issues i mean as an auditor if you find any complex issues or any contentious issues and if you ask for time to resolve the issues and if there is a pressure from the management to provide quick report on that complex or contentious issues that circumstances also indicate the possibility of fraud and the next one is complaints by management about the conduct of the audit or the management intimidation of engagement team members particularly in connection with the auditor's critical assessment of the audit evidence or in the resolution of potential disagreements with the management i mean whenever the manager complains against any auditor or against the auditor's critical assessment that circumstances also indicate the possibility of fraud risk and the next one is unusual delays by the entity in providing requested information i mean as an auditor whenever you request for any specific information as an evidence for any transaction and if the management or the authority delays for providing that information that situation also indicates the possibility of fraud whenever there is a unwillingness to facilitate auditor access to key electronic files for testing through the use of computer assisted audit techniques i mean in this present scenario most of the organizations use computer aided information technology and as an auditor if you seek access for those electronic files and if the management is unwilling to provide the access that situation also indicate the possibility of fraud and whenever there is a denial of access to key it operation staffs or facilities including security operations and systems development personnel that means for investigating any fact as an auditor if you want to talk with any security personnel or operational personnel or any personnel who are responsible for the it system and if the authority does not provide you access to talk with those personnel that symptom or circumstances or the situations indicate the fraud risk and the next one is an unwillingness to add or revise disclosures in the financial statements to make them more complete and understandable i mean as an auditor if you request the authority of the company to change any disclosures and whenever the authority are not interested to change or add any information to the specific disclosures that unwillingness also provide the symptoms for fraud risk and the next one is an unwillingness to address identified deficiencies in internal control on a timely basis i mean generally the previous auditors provide the suggestion for 
strengthening the internal control but if the management is not interested to address the deficiencies in the internal control that type of attitude also indicate the possibility of fraud risk now we are going to learn about the other factors which can be used as a example of circumstances that indicate the possibility of fraud you can see when the management is not interested to permit the auditor to meet privately with those charged with governance i mean there are some other persons who are responsible for ensuring the governance and if the auditor is interested to meet the personnel responsible for governance and if there is no permission to meet with the governing people that unwillingness of management also indicates the possibility of fraud accounting policies that appear to be at variance with the industry norms i mean in an industry there is a common thing that most of the company in the same industry follow same format in maintaining the accounts but if the company to which you are providing your service as an auditor if they don't maintain the format followed by the industry that type of inconsistency or variance in the accounting policies also indicate the possibility of fraud and whenever there is frequent changes in accounting estimates that do not appear to result from changed circumstances generally the estimation are subjective issue i mean whenever there is a estimation there is a application of personal judgment and if the manager apply their personal judgment for any estimation without any necessity i mean whenever there is a change in the operational environment then there may be changes in the estimation without any change in the surrounding environment if there is any change in the estimation of the management then that type of frequent changes in accounting estimation indicates the possibility of fraud and the last one is tolerance of violations of the entity's code of conduct i mean if the entity always violating the rules and if there is no action against those violation that type of tolerance of violations indicates the possibility of fraud risk so these are the circumstances that indicate the possibility of fraud thank you